Hi you guys, it's me Nisi J. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Um, today we're going to go over what steps to take when first starting out with makeup. Makeup. First of all, makeup is supposed to just enhance your natural beauty. It's not supposed to be caked on or anything that's supposed to be really heavy on your face. It's supposed to actually accentuate your natural beauty. So, for those of you that want to wear makeup but don't want to look really, really um, cakey or, or, or like you wear a lot of makeup, the first thing you want to do, you want to find a really good foundation. And I have been trying to stay away from the um, department store brands because I've worked in that for so long. And um, I, I, I am leaning toward trying to find a good drugstore foundations, which I have found several good ones. Um, finding a good shade, I know it's, it's, a lot of people say it's hard to find one when you're going to drugstores or Walmart or Target or things like that. But it, it really is not the same thing if you were purchasing in a department store. You would have to go in, they would put it on you, but you still have to walk around and, and let that foundation, foundation oxidize on your face. Once it does that, you will see the natural tone. Sometimes it turns orangey, red. It can make you look ashy. Same thing. When you go into a department in a drugstore or a Walmart or, Tar or Target, what you do, you try this on, take it home, keep your receipt. Try it on, walk around for a day, look at it in the sun. That's what I do, I kind of look in the sun. And see how the foundation, if it does not match, then you can just take it back and exchange it or get your money back. If it does match, you know, you can do, this is the one that you would actually use. You want to get one that you think is close to you. So the first thing, find a good foundation, number one. Any kind of good powder, step two. Whether it's loose powder, finishing powder, you need a good powder you want. Another thing is, CoverGirl Queen Collection, I find that you don't need a powder because this is flawless all day and it's powder and foundation in one. Now for those that have oily skin, you may still need to find a good powder just to, you know, blot yourself because oily skin is oily skin. So, um, that's number two. Number three, good concealers. Now, this is a drugstore. I'm still into my MAC. I love MAC concealer. It's a shade lighter than me. I like to put it up under here, up under here, because I have sometimes it get dark around here. Um, sometimes my iron, so sometimes I get a little dark. Or you can find one again, like in a pencil in the drugstore. Um, you can get one that matches your complexion completely, or one that's a little shade lighter. Um, what the lighter one does when you put it up under your eyes, it kind of makes you look more awake and brightens your face up. For the ones that, you know, you can just put on little blemishes that you have if you get one that matches your skin. So always a good concealer. I know it sounds like a lot, but once you do that, it, it makes your skin look flawless and makes and want people to say, hmm, does she really just have good skin? Or, you know, she has really, really pretty clear skin. That's what you want. Another thing is good brushes. Now, I when you're if you're a beginner, you want a good powder brush, good powder brush, or if you want to try to start applying foundations. Really, to me, your hands for the foundations are your best tools. I found out that I do that all the time. When I do it on the clients, your hands. Um, if not, find the brushes. Like Elf has really affordable brushes. And on these brushes, these are new. Like on the brushes, it says, um, let me just open one up. Bronzing brush. It tells you what the brush is for, if you can see that. It says bronzing brush. Or it says, um, eye brush. It just tells you blending, where you just actually blend. Um, this brush, it tells you, it is a smudge brush. It tells you on the brush as well. So these are affordable. When starting out, you don't really need expensive, expensive brushes. You know, I use a lot of different, I have a lot of different, very expensive and inexpensive brushes because when I'm applying makeup on my clients, you know, you have to, I have to have brushes that last a long time. So, but starting out on yourself, get the brushes that 
have the name. These are really good brushes and they're, they're inexpensive. Oh, and I found these brushes at Target's as well. Come with a little pouch. I've had this such a long time. It looks a little raggedy. But on this brush as well, it says eye blending brush. I think, now I think I got this at Walmart. Or it says um, foam tip applicator. You know, right here on the brush. It, you know, it tells you. And you can, it tells you which, uh, if it's for smudging, if it's for concealer, like these elf brushes here, it says concealer brush. Very inexpensive, affordable. These are the th thing, type of things that you look for when you're first starting out. So let's go back over everything. Number one, good foundations. Number two, good loose powder or some kind of powder to make your take off the shine and just to give you a natural kind of blended look. So your face won't be shiny, won't be too dry, you know. And and number three, a good concealer. And number four, good brushes. Any kind of good concealer and good brushes. And I almost forgot, and a good mascara. This is a good volume, a volumizing mascara. I love this mascara. I will actually try to do a makeup tutorial 101, makeup 101 just to give you a, a, a flawless type makeup look without the eyeshadows and so forth. So you can just give, see how it is to apply that foundation and makeup on. So again, thank you so much for watching. If this was interesting for you or, or if it was helpful, please like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. That would greatly, greatly help me out a lot. And as always, peace and love. God bless. Bye.